So another comment we have, there's a 73 year old and they went to the urologist, he ordered an MRI, they came back with a Pyrads 4, but on the report it said that it was suboptimal, that there was rectal gas and that the MRI wasn't as useful as they wanted it to be. So instead of retesting and just going and getting another MRI, the doctor wants to do a biopsy. So what in that situation should he do? Should he do the biopsy? Should he get another MRI? How does he go about this? Well, it's still controversial to use MRI as a, as a uh, tool in men with high PSAs uh, as a first step tool. Um, because more often than not, in the field of urology, people are being treated with random biopsies. It's still the go-to methodology. I don't agree with it, but it's the standard of care. So w I've been uh, promoting the concept that since MRI MRIs are more accurate than biopsies and they're non-invasive, that they should be the first step. And we're seeing some transition toward that thinking, especially as MRIs get better, more centers know how to do MRIs properly, patients get more um, sophisticated uh, and realize that uh, having 12 large core needle biopsies through the rectum is just darn unpleasant and occasionally risky uh, with infection problems. In this situation, we we're really talking about someone that tried to do the MRI first uh, and got uh, some indication that there is a problem. A PIRADS4 lesion, whether there's gas or not, is something that uh, would typically be pursued with, in, in, in our practice anyway, with a targeted biopsy. I am not going to random biopsies as solutions, so if there was uh, concern about the MRI quality, yes, you could either have it, the images overread at a center of excellence or repeat the MRI and do it properly. But it sounds like this individual already has uh, an area of concern and uh, the rectal gas question seems to be sort of uh, irrelevant to the issue. I, I think that uh, the next step for this individual would be to find a competent doctor that can do a targeted biopsy of the PIRADS4 lesion. So this leads us to a couple other questions. So where do you send people to go get their MRIs reread? So, I mean, centers of excellence are uh, on the East Coast, Memorial Sloan Kettering, Cornell. On the West Coast, we have uh, UCLA, UCSF, uh, UCSD in San Diego. These are places that are doing a lot of MRIs and they, uh, they're competent and they can provide uh, a good second opinion. There's a lot of conversations around finding a doctor who will do a targeted biopsy. So what are questions the patients can call and ask the office? The same challenge is presented anytime you're looking for quality artisans. A good plumber, a good electrician, uh, a good targeted biopsy doctor. And uh, are is this physician doing targeted biopsies a lot? Uh, that, you know, or is this person still in their learning curve will be an important question. And then I think word of mouth uh, would be, uh, does this person have a reputation or is there someone that's had good results with this that you know? And then your primary care physician or the urologist that you're seeing or whoever's been managing your care, do they know someone that is doing uh, quality work? So tar targeted biopsies are becoming more mainstream and more common, but the factors you're gonna look for to get quality care are the same for looking quality care in any area of uh, endeavor. And when it comes to getting maybe a secondary read on a pathology report after they've already received that targeted biopsy, do you say that all patients should go send them to John Hopkins and get a second secondary uh, reading on that? I think as a, if in and doubt, when in doubt, get a second opinion. It's not that difficult, and it gives you confidence that you're dealing with the raw facts rather than someone's supposition of the facts. If you're using a center that seems reputable and if the results seem in line with what you would expect, uh, that uh, I, no, I don't recommend that everyone get a second opinion, but I have a low threshold to pull the trigger and get a second opinion. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like more information about prostate cancer and all sorts of education, you can visit our website, pcri.org, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer education videos every week.